Welcome to the tutorial for the English Alphabet app. And this will be presented on the iPhone simulator Retina Display, but it's equally applicable to the iPad version, which is essentially identical in terms of functionality. And uh, this is the full version. I'll point out differences between this and the free version. The free version is obviously uh, limited. So we'll start with reference. It's very simple. It's just a matter of touching any of the letters P and hearing the V corresponding sound N L that's all it is C we'll go to practice uh, there are two games currently listen and select and reorder we'll skip this I'll tell you about I. this now uh, my voice covered over the first letter that was presented so I'll give us a, a chance to um, demo the repeat button I, I, J, X. Now let's pretend that we don't know what this letter is. X. And we can press this uh, and you'll see what happens when you get it wrong. X, X. And it will repeat um, forever or until you do one of two things. Get it right or skip it. This is a skip button here. Now watch what happens up here when we skip. P. So it indicates uh, which letter we missed and uh, it announces the next letter. So perhaps we'll get it right the next time. Now, uh, in order to make this less, less intimidating for the student, uh, you can limit the, the letters in practice. Uh, all of the highlighted letters will now be a fair game for a presentation, um, but all of the uh, faded letters will be excluded. D. D. C. A. And as one gets uh, more confident, you can add, A. add letters. Reorder is uh, quite simple. Don't worry, I won't do the whole thing because it involves reordering, putting the alphabet in the the correct uh, correct sequence. So just uh, holding and dragging upwards one at a time. And at the end, uh, it will tell you how long it took you to do it. So it's a bit of a, a game. Test. Uh, we only have listen and select. We're going to be presented with 100 H. letters. Uh, now this is somewhat. This probably reminds you of practice, but it's a. Uh, it's different in two important ways. One is that the letters are never repeated, uh, nor is there a skip button. K. So if you really don't know, you're just going to have to guess. I. B. And you'll notice the progress bar filling up gradually again until it reaches 100 letters. At which point it'll be your score will be presented and uh, the elapsed time, in fact, will be presented as well. And uh, finally, in settings, it's uh, pretty Spartan. It's just a matter of toggling between capital and lowercase letters. And uh, that applies to C. All. All areas, even the, uh, the test. X. Let's turn that off. Uh, finally, we'll go to info. Uh, in this case, this is a self-same tutorial. You can watch it again. Uh, the support uh, goes to the support site for this app. Review, um, of course, uh, I would especially appreciate a, a positive, uh, if not glowing review for this, um, but even a critical view would be appreciated, uh, provided it's constructive, because that's really how these apps evolve, through constructive criticism. Uh, and then we have um, related apps, uh, namely English Numbers. There's a paid and there's a free version. So after Alphabet, English Numbers, uh, numbers in any language are probably the second uh, best step uh, towards a solid foundation. Uh, and in fact, uh, if you're interested, I have uh, I have uh, similar apps in other languages. Again, focusing on the foundational skills. So that concludes the tutorial for English Alphabet app. Uh, if you um, have any questions or comments, uh, please contact me through the support site. Uh, otherwise, uh, I hope you enjoy it and find it uh, useful. Thank you.